Hey guys, Locks and Load here. All right, so I can hear myself. All right, so I got a new carry gun. It's not necessarily new, but no PT-111 Taurus 9mm. And I'm just gonna do some quick practice with it. I wanna break it in a little bit, get a nice feel for it. It's been a little while since uh, I used to carry one of these. So I wanna try to get back in the groove. So enjoy the video. You know, if you see something you like, try it at home or give me some suggestions of what I should practice. So for this one, we're gonna do one shot, reload, fire two shots. And I'm using my Wilder Tactical Universal Pistol pouch. I really like these because here it's set for a single stack, but it's a double stack. And as you can see, it stretches out. Yeah, look at that. Mm, stretches it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so it accepts single stack and double stack magazines. I can wear it outside the waistband like this, or how I use, usually do it is I'll carry appendix style right next to my pistol. So when I come, reload, you know, why not? All that good jazz. So, one round, reload, two rounds. All right, let's do it again. So, again, one round, reload, two rounds. If you're wondering, this is from Concealment Express on Amazon. Just a standard in the waistband holster. And I carry this with my Taurus PT-111. I carry the same holster to my other Taurus PT-111 that I had. Alright, practice time. That mag didn't want to come out. Alright, so this is our last time. Before I move on, hey, look at that. <laughs> so, one more round of one round fire, reload, two rounds. practicing with the safety on which I suggest that's how you practice because when you carry it you're gonna carry it with the safety on not bad not bad all right so next we're gonna move to appendix fire then appendix reload because that's how I carry my stuff all right here appendix because I'm skinny and I don't have a belly and that's how I'm gonna practice so we got a mag and this is how I usually carry my handgun This is how I, I'm practice because this, since this is how I carry. This is how I want to practice. Make sure you get your mags oriented right. So this is how you want to practice because if something happened, let's say I step out of here, I end this video, I go to my car, let's say I stop at a Walmart or a gas station. If something happens where I have to draw my firearm and use it, it's gonna be just like this. So you want to practice just like.
So now the next test we're gonna do is that I have all these empty shell casings on the ground. And what I'm gonna do is a practice a fire, malfunction, reload, fire. So I'm gonna use two live rounds and one empty shell case. So we got our two rounds and our empty shell case. Load your empty shell. We load the live round on top. Goes in the pistol and this extra round goes into your spare mag. It helps if you chamber around. Not as smooth as I would like, but still got the job done. Let's try that again. So, empty shell first. Then you live round. And then live round for the spare mag. I really do like having my spare mag like right here. It really helps with the reload so I don't have to come back. Like just the same way. But that's just me. All right, one round, my function, reload, one round. All right, I kind of messed that one up a little bit, so we'll give it one more try, one more. All right, that messed up. Fucking freaking pinch myself. All right, let's take that from the top. Slow and smooth. Smooth as fast. All right. Alright, I'm really just making these up on the fly. This is how I practice. So, what I'm going to do is that we have two mags. One mag will remain empty. This one will have the spare round. So what I'm going to do is draw my pistol. Click, click, don't work. Drop mag, reload, take the one mag with the one round, load it up, rack it, bang. To kind of simulate is that round, I pull my gun out, nothing happens, then I have to drop that mag, take out that round, put it in a fresh mag, and fire. Let's see how it works. Do that again.
All right, now we got some 1v1 time. 1v1. That means one round, reload, one round. Don't worry, you'll be a reload champion by the end of my video. If not, no money back guarantee. All right, 1v1. Pretty good. I do want to mention that when you practice this, if you do practice this, don't focus on just dropping the mag, putting another round in, and just getting off a shot. Just bang, firing off a shot. Try to aim. Or over here, I got a wood pile, so I'm aiming at a certain log, a per particular log. You aim small, you miss small. So when you do these drills, try to get your sights on target. So when you do that rapid drop, you know, reload, bang, that shot's on your target and not just, boom, right over his head because you were rushing to get off a shot, but you didn't aim. So when you do these drills, be quick as, as possible, but at the same time, be as accurate as possible. If you have to slow down just a little bit to get your accuracy on point, then slow down a little bit because it makes no sense to have 13 rounds and you know 13 rounds going over his head behind it over his shoulder behind his back and you ain't hit nothing but the brick wall or innocent people so make sure you take the time and practice your aim and your accuracy because that's what counts that's what's gonna put the bad guy down not firing 15 rounds in a mag reload another 15 rounds and then you didn't hit crap but actually putting tar rounds on target that will bring stop the bad guy all right more 1v1 Alright, our last 1v1. The last rep, let's make it good. Bless me, oh YouTube gods. Alright, 1v1. 